which again could get into situations where you have a little bit of complex accounting that you need to do at year end to adjust your books from whatever basis it is on to comply with uh, the tax basis. Okay, so calendar tax year. A calendar tax year uh, is 12 consecutive months beginning January 1st and ending December 31st. By far the most common uh, a year that will be adopted for sole proprietor type of businesses reporting on a Schedule C, the calendar year, January to December. You must adopt the calendar year if any of the following apply. Uh, you do not keep books. So if you don't have books being kept, then you're going to default to the calendar year. You have no annual accounting period. Uh, so your present tax year does not qualify as a fiscal year. So you have some fiscal year, but the IRS is like, no, that doesn't qualify. Therefore, you're defaulting to the calendar year. Uh, your use of the calendar tax year is required under the Internal Revenue Code or the income tax regulations. If you file your first income tax return using the calendar year and you later begin business as a sole proprietor, you must continue to use the calendar tax year unless you get IRS approval to change it or are otherwise allowed to change it without IRS approval. So that's the consistency principle. You've, you've made your choice, you filed your tax return, we're on, we're on the same page at this point in time, you can't just be changing the periods uh, in the calendar year to some other fiscal year unless you get approval or there's some specific rationale for doing so in the tax code. For more information, you can see change in tax year later. So if you adopt the calendar tax year, you must maintain your books and records and report your income expenses for the period from January 1st through December 31st of each year. Those are the cutoff dates that you have to be reporting basically the, the income for in accordance with the method that we're going to be using, which we'll talk more about later, generally being some kind of cash basis or accrual basis or some uh, in between basis. So fiscal tax year. A fiscal tax year is 12 consecutive months ending on the last day of any month except December. A 52-53 week tax year is a fiscal tax year that varies from 52 to 53 weeks but does not have to end on the last day of a month. So this gets a little bit technical of course because when we consider a year it, it kind of changes in terms of the amount of days in the year, right? 365 days, there's about 52 weeks to 53 weeks in the year. So we have to be basically consistent with the number of weeks that are being in the year if we choose something other than the calendar year that would be basically the same interval of time.